We begin with the extreme weather in the state line, including a reported tornado that touched down on the south side of the city of Janesville. The storm caused serious damage to buildings in the area. Homeowners spent most of the day cleaning up their yards. Trees were uprooted and some even fell onto houses and cars. The winds also ripped off the roof of a nearby warehouse. And one man we talked to said he wasn't expecting the storm to be so bad last night. Went to the store, come back out and come Come back home, I got up a uh, Kellogg up here, Kellogg. I said, holy crap, what's going on? Trees down all over the place. <laughs> Trying to get back home, I couldn't get back home. Trees on the road. And... City officials say there were people trapped in their basement, but the fire department was able to rescue them, and there are no known injuries at this time. We are currently doing drone assessments throughout this, the affected area and we have our building inspectors inspecting affected properties. Alliant has said that it will take up to two days to restore power to the city of Janesville residents that do not have power. They do have help from other states. Uh, I believe Iowa is, people from Iowa are here to help. As part of a response, the city activated its emergency operations center and is organizing outlets for donations to help those impacted. You can find a full list of items needed and where to donate on our website, mystateline.com. Well, the storm really hit us. Let's go back over to Jordan in the Weather Center for a recap of that storm. Jordan. Well, Rianne, we did have multiple tornadoes that touched down in southern Wisconsin, not only just that one that was also in Janesville, but a few others as well, even some outside of our viewing area. In total, six tornadoes were confirmed by the National Weather Service, three of which were in some of our southern Wisconsin counties. A bit of a closer look at those three. The first one was that one we've been mentioning in Janesville along the south side. It formed just to the east of Footville and passed through the south side of Janesville. That tornado was preliminarily rated an EF2 tornado by the National Weather Service in their storm surveys that they had earlier today with peak winds of 115 miles per hour. And that tornado was on the ground for 11 minutes. The next tornado was in portions of Walworth County. It formed just to the east of Delavan. This one was on the ground for eight minutes and for six miles. And that tornado was an EF1 that was confirmed by the National Weather Service with peak winds of around 105 miles per hour before it lifted near Williams Bay. A third tornado was also confirmed in Walworth County. This one actually crossed over Lake Geneva. It formed just north of Linton and ended up crossing near the town of Lake Geneva. Peak winds of 100 miles per hour, an EF1 tornado there as well. And that length was around five miles that it was on contact with the surface. A lot of these storms formed along an isolated cell that had formed just to the west of Janesville. And then they formed into a line, and that line merged and moved through Walworth County, eventually producing the additional two tornadoes there in Walworth County as well. A lot of these storms also had very heavy rainfall. I'll preview how much rain some of our areas got, as well as how much rain could be on the way with our next storm system coming up in my full forecast in just a little bit. Rianne?